In this video, I will be showing you how to use a stone board to get your motive. This is an example of a stone board. We have different types, different designs. In this particular board, the stone size that you need is SS10 stones. This is a type of stone board. But this one has different designs in one. We have the type that has just one design all through. So for this one, I have three designs. I have this, I have this other one, this long one. Then I have this smaller one here. For this second stone board, I have multiple designs. I like to buy stone boards with multiple designs because it's functional for me and you can use it for different things. But if yours has just one design, it's also fine. For this one, I have different designs here. I have this one. I have this other one. I have this one. This one also. This other one too. Then I have on the other side another beautiful design. This other one. This star. This other one too. I have plenty of designs here. I can use any one I want to create my design. Then I have this small circle here. You can combine two designs or three designs as much as you want according to your creativity. You can use this to create any design of your choice. For the sake of this practical, I'm going to be using this particular design. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it well. I'm going to be working with this design. The first thing I'm going to do is to pour my loose stones. These are SS10 stones. I'm going to be pouring a generous amount. You pour as much as you want, as much as possible. Then you use your duster or any foam you can lay your hands on this is a duster that is used for whiteboard it works perfectly for this I'm going to gently move the stones around my design for them to fall into the holes And set themselves into the design that's why I said you need generous amount of stones I'm doing this gently you can see why I said you need plenty of stones I need to add more stones to this so I can fill up that side This, this method makes your motive design faster unlike 
the other method where you have to use your hand to arrange each stone this makes the work faster it fills up almost all the holes on the design with stones I have it completely covered with stones now what I will do is I will gently brush it off I'm going to brush it off on this paper so I can easily pour it back into my plastic container. I'll place this here and gently brush it off. While brushing it off, some stones might come out from their holes, their spots, never mind. The beauty of the pattern board is to help you fill out your stones faster with as much as possible, but it will fill out every hole. You still have some spaces left. After brushing it out gently this way, I have most of the stones out of the way it's normal to have some spaces left on your design some stopper stones will refuse to move but no problem I have a solution for that I have most of the stones off the board I'm going to use my tweezer whichever tweezer or picker works for you all those stones that are not well placed or the extra stones that are on the board I'll try and remove them with my tweezer or my picker I'll show you for example I have here some excess stones that are not part of the design I have some extra here too that are not in the hole so I'll pick them and make sure I use them to fill up the remaining spaces in the hole then when I'm when I'm done using them to fill up my remaining spaces I'm going to remove the excess that are on the design because if you brush too hard your design will scatter so you have to brush gently and some will be left on the board this process is very fast so let me get to work and complete this If you have any stone that is turned upside down, you can also adjust it and turn it back.
now I'm done arranging the stones I'm going to remove my excess stones that I have by the side I'll brush it off gently When you are arranging your stones, make sure the shiny part of the stone is turned up while the parts with glue is turned down. I'm going to pick my transfer sheet and I'm going to cut out the size I need to pick up my stones. I'm going to check it this way. Please make sure you don't cut the exact size of your design or your motif. I have a little space around it, extra space. I'm going to open my transfer sheet. I'm going to open it gently. The part with glue, I'm going to place it gently on the design, on the stones. You have to do this carefully. Make sure there is no fold. I would advise you place it from side to side. Make sure you have enough space around the edges of your design. When you drop it, you can't adjust it again. So place it gently. Press down the stones. Press the transfer sheet on the stones so that it can pick all the stones. Try and get around the design, the old design. Make sure you press it on it. Then lift it gently. When you lift and you realize some stones are not picked up, you can take it back gently and press that part, that stone that is left. If you are doing a big design, let's assume your stone board as just one long design you might need somebody else to hold it on the other side for you because you wouldn't want the transfer sheet to twist it will scatter your design but for a small design like this you can do it yourself This is my design. I can either take this now and place it on my fabric or if I want to keep it for later use, I will place it back on this covering and keep it for later use. When I'm ready to use it, I'll peel it off and place it on my fabric.
I'll try and locate the middle or wherever you want to place it and gently drop it from side to side don't drop it at once it's going to have folds so gently drop it from side to side you press it down for the transfer sheet to be glued on the fabric this is my design you can see it this is the design the same one I have here I've gone ahead to apply it on this motif and I've removed my transfer sheet. This is the final result. This is the final look. See how beautiful it is. So this is the design let me show you once more this is the design we did and this is our final results Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and click the notification bell. Thank you.